In this video, I'll show you how to replace audio and video without re-encoding the video using MKV Toolnix. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my videos and you get value from the content that you watch, kindly consider giving this video a like and share it with your friends so that we can all learn together. So the purpose of this video is that you may want to replace an audio file uh, in a video. Let's say you have a better quality audio file from the same video that you've made edits to that is maybe done some normalization, equalization, uh, or even it's uh, more audible and uh, without any, let's say, background noise. Now, you may want to do that, but don't want to re-encode the video. If the audio is going to be the same length as the original audio, then this is an easy way to do that. The second option is if you do dubbing, uh, that is dubbing for audio, let's say, if the original audio was in a different language, or even if you wanted to add different audios, that is multiple audio files to a file, so that people can choose whatever audio they want to listen to, then you can use this method. But we are going to remove an audio file and replace it with our preferred audio file using MKV Toolnix. So let's begin, it's pretty simple. And I'll make sure I avail the links to MKV Toolnix in the description below. So. Let's just open up MKV Toolnix uh, and this is MKV Toolnix and here we have the folder. Let me just minimize this. Here we have the folder with the audio that I feel is edited, is good quality and all that that we want to use rather than the audio that is in the video. So what we need to do here is we need to open up again MKV Toolnix and then we can just open our folder because I just want to drag and drop uh, our video and audio just uh, select both of them and then drag in the source file section once you drag in the source file sections you're going to get this prompt i'll just need use the first add as new source just click ok and once i click ok uh, you'll notice that the source files are here and any other information or any other media that pertains to the files that i've put up here is going to be displayed here now if that's the case you need to know which file is which file I already know the files because the file that we want to use is the mp3 which is this first uh, mp3 here and this is the video but now the AAC which is an audio file uh, you can check so that you can uh, make sure that you're working or removing the correct audio and replacing with the correct audio by just coming over to the source file and seeing uh, what are the particular audio file is for for example the AAC is for the uh, for the video uh, and this is what we want to remove and replace with this so what we can do is just come up to the other end just uncheck this checkbox and this is not going to be copied so if you're satisfied with all that then all you need to do is just click on this browse option here just click on it and uh, let's say you want to save it in uh, this particular folder we can say save all files edited dot mp4 and then just click on save and once you're satisfied just click on start multiplexing it's going to be done in like a second so let's just click on that and it's already done if we go back to a folder we now have uh, three files so this is the new file with a new audio that we just replaced in our video there was no encoding uh, there was no rendering there was nothing so uh, if we just, let's say, right click on it, open with PLC Media Player. With the recent update on the... It's in, yeah, it's the new audio is uh, is already uh, appended to our video. So that's how you can easily replace audio in a video using MKV Tunix without re-encoding the particular video. Thank you for watching. I hope that this video is of value. If you're interested in uh, changing uh, an audio file in a video, that is of the same length, uh, let's say it's just maybe different quality, or maybe it's a dubbed audio, you can easily use MKV Tunix. Thanks for watching. Until next time, stay safe and never stop learning.